All right, it's time for Eric plays Beckett, episode five. All right, let's see I can get with Beckett today. Beckett is young. He's getting an uh, I saw it. I guess I didn't get to the next uh, section after this. <coughs> Beckett emerges in a dark murky pool, which he struggles to stay afloat. Then out of focus, voices arrive on a mechanical belt, fall, falter, and stumble off in directions the brain can't follow. For fear the dizziness will let go of his eyes, bobbing up back to sleep. Warm, and his body covered in rancid sweat. He near the scratching breath of the woman lying next to him. How it started? Is this how it ends? There we go. Beckett dresses and checks his pockets. He finds a necklace of shells that Joan and Gary. Death can be beautiful. Beckett's grandmother would keep her false teeth on the bedside cabinet and simply stretch away should she need them. There's a book on the floor, The Suffragette Movement. Nicely being loved but unloved. Also in a better place. He won't wake her. Beckett stands at the door. As the lock shuts behind you, everything in this room will become a memory. But looks into... I have no idea. <laughs> Guess I was supposed to hit that one first. He closes his eyes. Just for a moment. It was time to leave. I got Sin. Achievement Sin. <laughs> There's a girl at school who I kicked because she tried to kiss me. I awake crying at night because one told me never go with strangers. They keep dogs in cars. I like dogs, but they don't like me. I tried to pat one. It bit me. I'm scared of dying. I can't sleep. The thought is everywhere, and I shake my head to try and get rid of it. Sometimes it goes, but I know it's still there hiding. We held hands and kissed. He turned to my ears and in the hairs of my neck stand on end. I found the man in my dreams. My father died. He held my hand and told me to never give up. Life fading behind his own eyes, he gave over to the death inside. They're all the same. Bastards. They're driven only by their pricks. Pricks. I'm sick of their lies. Animals told them. Okay. Big action. Tell those love that you love them. We're all memories waiting to happen. We're all memories waiting to fade. There's these festering in our brains. We choose to ignore it, but so there are voices inside silent. At least your soul is saved through your actions. Turn a blind eye to your sins. Stand tall. Forget. Not sure what that was. Oh, he's like in the middle of a... Oh, there's an accident. Crashed van. Or... Fire engine. There we go. You woke up in an accident or something? I that a dream before with the bed? The game is <coughs> obtuse to a fault. Yeko. Police probe, wrong man. CD prepares a mid probe. Final arrogance, let them land your breasts. Residents in probe. World has a hollow ring. Proud widow drowns. Clement blaze. So practicing reckless wants. There's access to the children. On the men. While a child goes berserk. Beckett, you'll be late. That's been a few times before. It, that those words have on my character. Sent here. Go this way or that way. Ok. 
Okay, I guess it was just <coughs> sleeping on the streets. Open? Of course not. It's bloody four in the morning. There's a baby lying in the street, I guess. <laughs> Get out of here. Watch, I think. Actually represents something else. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Alright, let's see here. Time is running out, time is running out, time is running out. Um... <laughs> Got his mom. Father lost her friend, whom Beckett called Hawk. Hawk wasn't his name. The details lost to mystery. And Beckett was tender thereabouts. It's unfathomable. It's consequential. Hawk was a philosopher, the kind who only practiced their craft on children. Hawk told Becca that time didn't exist. Take Hawk. Alright, not sure. Guess we'll forget it? I don't know. A bug. Means a government worker. Got the time, he said. I think it could just about make out the person beneath its grind. I think it's about four. Think? Guys, we got a thinker here. Look, I just want to get home. Not getting past this way, mate. Either. Trouble. Shame. Yeah, real shame, honey. We're poor. Hey, what? We'll swap passage for your wallet. That. It panics his heart thumping into his rib. He never picked up the courage to go inside, neither. Bad things happened. I get it. Back then, open your eyes. Are they? Huh, what happened to those people? Lately, in. Look, it stops. He reaches his wa jacket. Fuck, his wallet isn't there. He closes his eyes and sees Amy's. Still feels sick. He feels sick. Don't let her face. He still has his office key. Alright, so they robbed him, I guess. Those guys, they robbed him. Uh, fatalities. Why am I here? Done. What? Together. One Beckett Steve. Amy. Amy. Okay. Alright, back to where we began. The smell. I'm pissed. The office. Echo calls in Beckett's brain. I'm fed away. Falling again and again. I'll be gone. Her breath and unsteady on his feet. Echo. Got anything here? Oh. This frame. This is Amy. Oh, so bad things on there. You can feel tears forming his heart again. The image shakes and distorts and loved you. I'm sorry. Is that her voice? Was that her song? Pick the act, Beckett. Hopefully they spared you that. <coughs> Not a fun game to be playing while also reading the parable of the sower by uh, uh, um, Evie Butler. Uh, sure. Numbers are gone. Whatever's inside is lost. Beckett, Beckett, Beckett. Are Valiant and here confused? Heavy night, was it? Look, I haven't done this. Calm down, dear. I've done nothing. I'm here to help. Left. Always something left. No. Or Beckett, feeling sad. Go type your loose ends. There's a good lad. I'm not playing this game anymore. That's not your choice to make. What am I supposed to do? 
The detective. Work it out. Back boo. Come on, just do me this one last thing. Pretty please. You're fine. Right, then we'll let you go. All right, Dorothy, you have him in the palm of your hand. And warts spread. Let's tighten to a fit. As the thick blood pushes me over Beckett's hand, across the ridges of broken shells, and down the necklace, it flecks and falls with a tiny blood onto the floor. Drop of clarity for I bandage and move on. I'm left back of his waves. Memory loss. Death of Beckett's father was delivered. Did he stamp down the law? Not born in which his parents would die first for any evaluations of how each would be. The other's apt test. The outcome was unclear, which was rerunning the scenario. Beckett felt hollow when he came. Amy was alive and could fight against the incident. Liking out the narrative through the internal screams and distractions, but they were there behind his eyes. On bad days, those bad days that Amy used Beckett to offload her sorrow, frustration, and anger, just she would isolate him behind a slam door in the old instant. See her gone, he'd happy, he'd see him glad, he'd let the lay out in his head. Projection that would only ever by him. He held it like an infidelity. After she was taken, the guilt remained, a niggling voice. He'd shake his head again and again to be silence. The death of Beckett's Amy was delivered. He stamped envelope, he never the letter. Okay. The burrow is fed to the sea through concrete pipes. The shoreline is a graveyard for what? what? Erosion, decay, remnants of the past thrown and flushed away. Beckett picks wrinkles from the pool, dropping the moss into his plastic bucket. The bucket was overflowing, and Father said he was proud. I'll always remember that day. All right, the old lately upside down here, scratching at memories. <laughs> Throw away, thrown away in discard. <coughs> Bring out your dead. Now, uh, I was like, that almost was a Monty Python reference. What we leave behind. That would be nuts. Uh, Our childhood is at war. Yeah, toy soldier. Now are everything comes to an end. It is very hard to read. Don't forget me, Beckett. Alright, what is this? The shore? Or the shore? Alright. Hey. Uh. So is my life a play? I don't. It happened here. Just put. Bucket. There's Peregrine, who I've been looking for the whole time. A man, a boy, a child. He stands at the ocean. His hands are stones that he casts into blue. All through the surface. As far as the eye can see. Peregrine reaches only Beckett's shoulders in height. His hands are delicate. His eyes are familiar. Peregrine Starlight. The boy looks at Beckett as if he isn't there. Focus. Focusing on the horizon, only for a moment. I'm instructed to find you, to take you back. Beck can see the boys considering something. In his eyes, the reflections of an empty beach. <laughs> what happened to your hand? <laughs> Is that funny? The dog bit me. Oh, does it hurt? Not really. Green smile, small teeth, leaking lips. His eyes are reddened by the wind through or through crying. 
Had it all planned out our life together, but she left me standing out in the rain, isolated. I was worried. Mother's dead. Never understood me. She just wanted her version of reality. Guess what? Oh snap. Come with me. You don't get it, do you? The conversation has been rewritten so many times about Craig How will this end? What will I say? What will you say? Will I be taken away in handcuffs to the city or a street jacket to the hospital, ready for the surgeon and his knife? Talk to my mother, take my jam. Hey, knock on my neighbor's door and promise to be really father. I don't want any of those. Those realities are false. Do you hear Beckett? World not fair? What happens? Happens. There is no meaning to any of this beyond that which we give it. There's a phone in the beach. Where's Peregrine? Like it reaches down, picks up the red sand. Like it spoke the voice, familiar. You're not needed anymore. Like it turns to the sun, breaking over the surface of the horizon. The wind caused him, caught in an invisible fading echo. Amy gently drifts across the water. So Beckett, come with me. Beckett is... Alright, so now I'm Peregrine, I guess. Peregrine takes a stone from the bucket and rubs his fingers across its surface. He made a point of collecting... He concentrates on the feeling, a sensation that confirms his existence. Stops, then it's gone. There's a question. It's important. The doctors told me his reality was false. They were wrong. This is the most real he's ever felt. The question remains. Is this thoughts? He drops the stone back into the bucket. The wind catches his hair and he feels it gently tug against his scalp. Peregrine stares into the sea. The waves are a calming influence, just like the book had said. It's all his happier days when he played with his parents on the beach. He and laughing at silly creatures behind shallow pool. Long gone days. He looks at his hands. He's a sand caught in the wound. Medical attention. Not in Burrow, there are other places. Uncertain features. He's rushed to walk. He'll stop when he can walk no more. Ends. I got reality B. It unlocked. Two uh, reality bees cold shower. Um, I guess I've got two other achievements. What is if I click on ripples? Place to find yourself. Take me there. again. Alright, so I guess I'm done. Yeah. Out of here. Alright, so there's Beckett. Um, the fact that there's still two achievements, and I seem to get one achievement per level, seems to imply that um, there's something that I missed, or some alternate ending I could have achieved. I'm not quite sure. Um... So I guess in the end it turns out that Beckett was a figment of Peregrine's imagination or something, or maybe he was remembering something that actually happened. I don't know, and I kind of don't care. This was a little obtuse. Um, I find that um, sometimes when things try to go a little this way, you really can't appreciate it because you don't know what happened. Right? It's the same reason um, that some uh, people sometimes have trouble with some for Nolan movies. Um, they get so far up their butts that you lose track of what's going on, and then everything losing loses uh, any connection you had to it. So, um, I'll say this: I'll say the game was original, creative, um, interesting way of doing art, a different way of making a point-and-click adventure than usual, a very different content than usual. Not um, science fiction; it's not fantasy. Um, so, all that stuff is neat. I just like halfway through the game, I was like, I don't going, I don't know this is taking me, I don't know what's, you know, what it is you want me to do with this, 
Um, so, eh. Glad I checked it out, but, um, eh, who knows. Alright, so, this is the end of Beckett. I'm definitely not playing this game anymore. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.